Let's take a moment to think about how you're watching Feed My Curiosity. Are you sitting on a chair in front of your computer? Are you sitting in front of your TV? Are you snuggled up on your couch or in bed watching on your tablet or smartphone? Now let's think about how you'd be watching Feed My Curiosity 10 years ago in 2008. The Apple iPad and the Samsung Galaxy Tab didn't come out until 2010. While YouTube was launched in 2005, mobile support didn't exist until two years later and not every video was viewable. There were devices like the HTC Dream and the Apple iPhone that could play YouTube, but those devices weren't as powerful and sophisticated as mobile devices today. And since then, YouTube has become a platform that can be accessed just about anywhere. And this is just one of the ways about how fast humanity is technologically advancing. And there are multiple kinds of technologies that are growing for the future, like self-driving cars, self-serving checkouts at grocery stores, robot-assisted surgery, and virtual reality gaming. Today on Feed My Curiosity, we look at the question, is humanity technologically evolving at an exponential rate? If you're new here and you're liking what you're watching so far, please hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date. As our human ancestors began living on planet Earth around 10 million years ago, they learned how to use natural resources like bones, stones, and wood to make them into tools. And around 8 million years later, they learned how to control fire. Humanity has certainly come a long way since then. Many inventions have been made from the invention of boats in 10,000 BC, the invention of the wheel in 3500 BCE, and the invention of paper around 2500 BC, to the invention of the printing press in 1450, the invention of the telescope in 1609, and the invention of the piano in the 1700s. But these inventions didn't come out of thin air, right? As Raymond Williams states, a piece of technology is created based upon pre-existing technologies, which have their history and kind of understanding used by people. For example, let's look at the television. The first television was developed around the 1920s, but the invention of the television would have been impossible without the invention of the telegraph, which demonstrated long-distance transfer of information along wires. Photography, which demonstrated capturing real-life images. Motion pictures, which demonstrated that a series series of still images can make a moving visual, and the radio, which demonstrated the wireless transmission of information like sound. And all these inventions wouldn't have been possible without the discovery of electricity. And did our prehistoric ancestors lend a helping hand? Of course they did. Learning how to make tools out of the natural resources they had led to the invention of the screw and the screwdriver, used to put everything together. And you could still apply this kind of thinking for technologies today. Smartphones and Wi-Fi are based on radio, television, and telegraph technologies. Laptops and computers are also based on early computer technologies, like the Abacus and various military computers used in the World Wars. Cars as we know them today, thanks to the founding of wheels, and Henry Ford's innovation of the Model T in 1908. And now that we know how radio waves work, how to build state-of-the-art vehicles that can save fuel and can help assist drivers with techniques such as parking and staying in the lane, as well as how to program artificial intelligence, we now have the basis to build self-driving vehicles that may one day be efficient for everyday use and be used by everyday people. Technologies are certainly invented to serve a purpose by helping us survive and possibly enhance our quality of life. We can look at the idea of transhumanism. Transhumanism is basically understanding what makes us human and using science and technology to expand on our natural ability to overcome obstacles that were previously impossible or difficult. An example of transhumanistic technology is Lockheed Martin's Human Universal Load Carrier, or the HLUC, which allows humans to simultaneously carry up to 90 kilograms of weight and run 16 kilometers per hour. Another example is Google Glass, where users can see relevant information for what they're doing right in their field of vision. And although virtual reality already existed with the Sensorama in the 1950s and Nintendo's Virtual Boy in the 1990s, it was able to make a breakthrough in the market thanks to technologies such as Sony's PlayStation VR, HTC Vive, and the Oculus Rift, enabling many consumers to easily experience virtual reality gaming and applications right in the comfort of their own homes. With all that in mind, we could say that yes, humanity is technologically evolving at a pretty fast pace. If we look back at our timeline of inventions, the number of inventions that came out in the prehistoric and ancient times doesn't compare to the number of inventions between the 19th and 21st century. The more technologies that are discovered, the more technologies we can look upon to create even more. But now we should ask, is this good or bad? Humanity is very much dependent on technology, and people are always looking for ways to create and enhance technologies 
to improve our qualities of life. But are all creations and enhancements good, or can some be harmful? We can look at the concept of technological determinism, a theory that explains that inventions lead to changes in culture. Marshall McLuhan and Harold Innes expand on this and relate it to media technology, coining the phrase, the medium is the message. John Culkin also says, we shape our tools and our tools shape us. Technological determinism comes in two forms, the utopian perspective and the dystopian perspective. For example, the utopian perspective can say that smartphones have given so much mobility, accessibility, and freedom for users. People can be anywhere and send messages and call other people. You can access the internet anywhere when you need it, like a GPS map when you get lost or find the nearest restaurant when you're hungry. The dystopian perspective, however, can say that smartphones heavily distract students and workers. Its expensive plans, well, at least in Canada, can make it difficult for people to own smartphones. If you're out of battery or in the middle of nowhere with no cell towers, then your smartphone is pretty much useless. Meanwhile, social media like Instagram and Twitter allows us to connect with family and friends no matter where you are. But less face-to-face -face time with people can also lead to loneliness and mental illness like depression. And what about self-driving cars? The idea seems great and all, as it can increase human productivity and save on fuel. But can we really rely on them? How much can we trust AI-driven technologies before they go rogue? And that concludes our discussion of whether humanity is technologically evolving at an exponential rate. So what do you think? Are we evolving too fast for comfort? Do you think all technological inventions and enhancements are good for us? Or are there some that you think are harmful? Share your thoughts by commenting below. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date with Feed My Curiosity. Thanks for watching.